Hi, everyone. My name is Kami Allen. I'm from the mamadiaries.com. I appreciate you guys talking to me today. Absolutely. It's our pleasure. What's up, Kami? I, like I like the background. It. Yeah. Thank you. I thought you were awesome. like it. <laughs> um, so, you know, what I love most about this movie is that I don't know a thing about Dungeons and Dragons at all, other than, you know, I know it's a game, but I've never played it. Um, but I was really able to enjoy the film. So how did you like balance creating the story for both players and non-players? Well, that was always our our mission as we saw it, because we knew we couldn't just make a film that only the hardcore fans would appreciate. And so it really started with the characters and the journey that they go on, as it does with really any movie we approach. Um and making sure that those are people you're going to get invested in and root for and care about. And then you add to that all the incredible trappings of the D&D world, but in a way that you don't have to understand specifics to appreciate what's going on. Jeremy has no knowledge of D&D or didn't, but when we started this, thing, accurate. So we would very much just run things by him. And, and, and if his eyes kind of gloss over and he, and he stops making sense, we, we knew that we, uh, <laughs> we totally alienated him with too many proper nouns. It's true. There's a thing about these movies that you have to like walk that line and you have to do the homework and really be true to the fans because without the fans, you don't have a movie like that, that anyone's going to accept but you have to make sure that you broaden it. And the, the reason for broadening it is to explain to the rest of the world what these people love about this thing. You know, it's like to like find a way to capture what they love about this property and share it with everybody else so that like more people will end up loving it as well, you know? And I think it's one of the fun parts about making these things is that people walk away going, oh, I guess I like that thing I didn't even know about two hours ago. And that's kind of the fun surprise of it. Um, and I think the guys really nailed that. Really great. So I think one of the things, you know, that works really well with the movie uh, is that it's incorporation of like so many different films. You know, you have like fantasy, action, adventure, humor, heart. Um, how did you like balance all of the themes so that they fit within the story? Um, I mean, I think it's it is when you're telling a story that that is this broad and and encompasses so many different genres and emotions. Um, sort of comes naturally uh you 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 tend to kind of fall into the flow of the storytelling uh and so as long as it felt genuine and that each character's action was informed by a, a motivation that that felt justified um that's the sort of path that we followed as we were telling the story we knew we wanted to have a lot of spectacle we knew we wanted it to be big and bombastic and a lot of fun with sequences and set pieces that you haven't necessarily seen before. But at its core, we wanted the story itself and our characters uh, drive to be something that as an audience, you can get behind and you can understand. Because without that, I don't think any of the other pieces would work. Yeah, I mean, it's it's ultimately a movie about a guy trying to get his daughter back. You know, it's really just a father daughter story at, at its really core. And uh, I think that and it's something that was kind of hidden in the marketing. I think everyone was a little worried about saying this is a really big movie about a guy trying to get his daughter back. But at the end of the day, like people have now seen the film. We can say that like this is a movie about a guy trying to get his daughter back, trying to put his family yeah. back together. It's not it's, it's not lovely. about badasses saving the world. Right. Yeah. I yeah. think that makes it relatable to a lot of people because, you know, like me, I'm a mom, so I can relate to that part, you know, of the parenting aspect of it. Mm -hmm. So I um, I noticed that Jonathan and John, you two have worked together a lot, but I noticed that the three of you all worked together on Spider-Man Homecoming. So how was it reuniting and working together again? Uh, it was really great. I mean, we had such a good experience with Jeremy when we were at mo working on the on Spider-Man film. And so it just um, kind of felt organic because, you know, there aren't a lot of people who have made the kind of giant movies as well as Jeremy has over so many years. And this was our first kind of step up to that level of movie making. Um, and so he was a great, you know, kind of a guide for us in making that that leap. Jeremy's also a man of many hats. And um, when we first started working with him on Spider-Man, I think he opened certainly my eyes up to what a producer 
actually does and and how they can really contribute to the storytelling. Um, and so being able to bounce ideas off of him who, you know, he's, he's so collaborative, he's so creative, and he also has a fundamental sense of what audiences seem to respond to. That was an invaluable asset when we were tackling something as big and ambitious as this. And I don't think we would have been able to do it without it. It's uh, it's crazy. Our re our, our reunification started at a uh, at the produce section at Avon's in Hollywood. Um, I I ran into Jonathan and uh, I had left Marvel and wanted to make big movies on my own outside of Marvel. And I ran into Jonathan and he said, "We're thinking about doing D and D. And uh, is that a, is is there anything to do there? Is that of interest?" And the idea of working with these guys again was just so exciting for me. Because we had such a great experience on on Spider Man, like so much of what makes, and obviously John watched an incredible job and directed an incredible film. But so what? So much of what made it work for me fundamentally was the screenplay, the very very first draft that these guys wrote. Like I could see the whole movie, and I was like, "It's John Hughes as a superhero movie. It's exactly what I wanted it to be. Like this is it. This is the thing. This is what we were trying to do." And they just nailed it. They just killed it from the day one, and it was so much fun. And so. The prospect of working with them again on something outside of Marvel and just like us going off to Ireland and making this crazy thing together was so cool. And and it was just a great collaboration. And honestly, I can't imagine better partners and better people and better storytellers than these two guys. Like they're just phenomenal. They have such a sense of heart. And that's really at the end of the day, what I care about is art. Like I could care less about the rest of it. I really don't think I'm good at making action movies. I think I'm good at making movies about heart. And I, that's why I like the films I've, the ones I've made, the Marvel movies that I made are all driven on heart, I think. And it's, uh, it's, it's what these guys just do naturally. It's awesome. So we need to talk about the cast for a minute because your cast is absolutely amazing. Can you talk about the process of that? Sure. Um, when John and I are writing a movie, we always have certain voices and faces in our minds as we're creating the characters. And in this case, we were able to actually get a lot of those people who we first envisioned. Um, Hugh Grant being one of those, you know, even though we knew it was a long shot that we could get him to do the film, we we really wrote that part for him. And and Chris was always a dream for uh, Chris Pine to, to get him because he, he's one of the few actors who can pivot on a dime from emotion to comedy to action. He really ticks all the boxes as far as movie star skill sets go. Um, and, uh, you know, and then we've just filled out the cast with all these incredible people. We really, um, we got very lucky. Yeah, and I think the, the other thing that we, that we made sure to focus on when casting was that they all be different uh, from one another and unique in their own way. Much like uh, a, a solid adventuring party when you're playing Dungeons and Dragons, you want them all to have uh, uh, their own independent uh, point of view, one that sometimes clashes with another and sometimes kind of works in conjunction. So it was great to be able to cast this thing with a family that you would not necessarily expect. It was almost like the... Um, the, the version of it was was the people that you see uh, presenting awards uh, in awards shows are often like the most mismatched pair uh, for whatever reason. And that was something that I think worked uh, to our advantage when casting this thing. I think uh, the other thing that, you know, the guys are being are being modest on the Hugh Grant front, like getting Hugh is so hard. It's it's nearly impossible. But the script they'd written was so good that when Hugh first Zoomed with us, strangely from a bathroom at a Four Seasons in Istanbul, Turkey. Still unclear why we were Zooming with Hugh Grant from a bathroom. Mm -hmm. uh, he said it was because the acoustics were good, but it was the craziest experience. But it was, he literally got on the phone and he was like, who wrote the script and are you British? It's the best British comedy I've read ever. And it just speaks to like how funny the, the script was from the day one. And it made it so much easier to put the movie together because oftentimes on these big movies and I've made a lot of them, you don't have a finished screenplay when you start trying to cast the film and you're just kind of promising everyone that it's going to come together and be cool. And it usually does sometimes not, but this thing, we had a great script from the outset and it made it a dream to cast because we could actually go after people and show them what the movie was and they could go, Oh, I see myself doing this. And so, so much of it started with just like the great writing, you know, these guys are just truly gifted uh, writers and, and that made the casting process happen and got us this star-studded cast. 
All right, guys. So that's all the time that I have. But I appreciate you guys speaking with me today. Thank, Thank you, Kay. Thank you so much, Cammy. Yeah, it was great to meet you all. Nice to meet you. Take care. You too.